Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 299. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel and click on my college website link and you can download the workbook 290, Excel Magic Trick 296 to 301. Hey, in 299, we want to see how to deal with date and time together. Now, this is entered. Here's the date and the time. It's the start time for a certain project and then the end day and time was many days later and a particular time. Now, how is this different than just date time or just straight time? Well, time is the proportion of one 24-hour day, so time is always between 0 and 1. Dates are serial numbers. Number 1 represents January 1st, 1900. Uh, today's date, um, March in 2009, is like 38 or 39,000 days since uh, January f uh, 8, or actually December 31st, 1899. So when you enter these in, what gets put in there? Well, let's remove the formatting. I'm going to control 1 and go back to general. You can see there's the day. So, oh, it's 36,932, and that's the time. So when you enter, a date and time together, it's actually an integer and then a fraction between, uh, or a decimal between 0 and 1. All right, I'm going to escape because I want to keep that there. How do you calculate days? Well, we just use the int function. Int, int, <coughs> we'll take the integer part, so it will hack off the decimals. Uh, and so I'm going to take int of the later minus int of the earlier. So that's a way of just getting those uh, 36,000 numbers and not dealing with the time part. Int actually always goes down. So if it's a positive number, it goes down to the positive number. If it's a negative number and you have minus uh, 1.2, it'll go down to minus 2. But this is fine because we have positive numbers. There it is, 21 days between these two dates. Now, how do we get the hours? Well, there's a few different ways. Here's one way. We'll use the text function. And we want to calculate uh, this minus this. That is the end time minus the begin time. Except for you have to use custom number format. Because time, regular time format shows uh, 1.333 as 8 AM. Right? So we want to, in square brackets, put an H, square bracket, close circle brackets. Oops, and I got to put it in quotes because we're inside of the text function. But this square bracket, H square bracket, will show you uh, time over 24 hours. So there it is. Um, and inside the text function, you have to put your little quotes. Now I'm going to close parentheses and control enter. So it's 484 hours uh, for this particular project. Now, how do you can see it's a line to the left, right? Which means that's text. Well, I'm going to hit F2, which is edit, and that's sure enough what text function does. It takes some numbers and converts them to text. Well, here's the trick: you can do plus zero. You could use time value or or value or something like that, but plus zero is the quick and dirty way. As soon as you add a zero or multiply by one, it converts it back to a number. So 284. Now, uh, if you wanted to uh, create a label and show 21 days colon this many hours, uh, here's how you do it. We'll use a concatenation. But I want to show you a trick about the clipboard. I'm going to go up to Home, and then here, Clipboard. In earlier versions, uh, you could Control CC, and it would open up the clipboard. You can do it in this version, but you got to go up into Options and enable that. I don't have it enabled. Now, what I want to do, since I'm going to use these two formulas, I'm going to click here and hit F2. And I'm actually going to highlight and Control C. And it's collecting here on the clipboard. Escape. And then I'm going to come down here and select just that, Control C. Right Now, Escape. Now I can come down here and type, um, put, put it into edit mode with F2. And I'm going to click on this one. And then I'm going to ampersand in quotes, space, colon, space, in quotes. So the text, so far I have this answer, which is 21. And I've joined, that's the join symbol, shift 7, which is the ampersand. And in quotes, that's the text I want to join. But I have one other thing. Since I have three things, I use two ampersands. And then I'll use, oh, I'm going to use uh, uh, this one right here. 
and actually you don't need the zero because it doesn't matter because this is text and then enter so that is a label so that's a little bit about uh, date and time the int function uh, the text function and some clipboard all right we'll see you next trick